all the best sales. Now you're ready to head home. That doesn't sound good. The step under your feet shatters and falls away. There must be hundreds of metal teeth grinding away down there. The escalator has malfunctioned. And if you don't move quickly, you could be eaten by the machine. Here's how to survive a malfunctioning escalator. You've probably seen a lot of escalators. They're everywhere. In the US alone, there are over 33,000 of them. Globally, people ride escalators about 90 billion times each year. It's not a new technology, since workers used a version with stone blocks and tree trunks to help build the Great Pyramid of Giza. Jesse Reno designed the modern escalators in 1859. He used steam power to move a conveyor belt. The first commercial escalator was made in 1897, and by the 1920s, the metal escalator that you're familiar with came into use. Nowadays, escalators come in all shapes and sizes. One of the biggest is in Hong Kong. The outdoor escalator travels 800 meters and carries over 85,000 people a day. The smallest escalator is in Japan. This monster covers a whopping height of 84 centimeters and has a total of five steps. And escalators aren't just for people either, they move grocery carts too. Although escalators are common, they can be very dangerous. An estimated 17,000 people are injured on escalators each year. In 2010, escalator users in Leifont Station Metro in Washington, D.C. heard a strange noise from the escalator, and then it suddenly sped up. People were slammed into the floor, and more people were thrown on top of them. So, if you're riding an escalator, why are sandals or athletic shoes the safest footwear? Why could the red button save a life? Is it helpful if you're good at jumping or vaulting? Escalators can save us from climbing a lot of stairs. But any machine can break down, and you don't want to get hurt. Here are some things you can do to survive a malfunctioning escalator. Step 1. Dress for the occasion. You might not think that your fashion choices could affect your safety on an escalator, but it most certainly does. Before riding an escalator, check the length of your shoelaces, pants, or skirt. Undone shoelaces or fabric that's touching the ground puts you at high risk of getting caught in an escalator's mechanism. This could cause you a lot of injuries if you're not careful. So before hopping on, make sure your shoelaces are tied. And if your clothes drag on the ground, hold them up for the journey. You don't want to travel to the inside of an escalator. Step 2. Anchor yourself. There's a good chance that your next escalator ride won't malfunction, but it doesn't hurt to be prepared. If you stand in the middle of the escalator with your feet shoulder-width apart, it gives you a strong foundation. Most escalators come with a motorized railing on each side, so grab a hold of the railing to increase your stability. If a malfunction does occur, you'll stand the best chance of maintaining your balance and composure. 3. Perfect Dismount If the escalator suddenly speeds up or changes direction on a dime, you'll need to adjust to it fast. First. Make sure you face the direction you're going. If the escalator changes direction, turn around. If you're near the top or bottom of the escalator, try to run and get off. If you can't run and you're moving in a new direction, check what's happening to the other passengers. If they're being thrown on the ground at the end of the escalator, you don't want to become another body on that pile. It could injure you or you could hurt other people. Prepare to either leap over the bodies or jump to an emptier area. If you can, wait until the escalator is closer to the ground, then vault over the railing to get out of the way. This will likely be easier if you're wearing sandals or athletic shoes. Step 4. Eyes up. Many shoppers casually walk onto an escalator with their hands full or use their phones. To stay safe on escalators, it helps to pay attention. After all, you'll be riding above hundreds of sharp metal teeth, so make sure you're not eaten. Keep your eyes out for wobbly steps or unusual sounds that could signal a breakdown is coming. In 2015, a woman in China lost her life while saving her son on an escalator. She noticed that the metal plate at the very top of the escalator was missing. After pushing her young son out of the way, the woman fell into the hole. She was crushed to death. Step 5. Look for the red button. Usually, there are emergency stop buttons at both the top and bottom of an escalator. Most emergency stop buttons are red and they're on the right-hand side of the escalator. If you see someone in trouble, 
or an escalator is malfunctioning, press the button. This could help reduce a lot of injuries. Now you're prepared to tackle any potential escalator threats that might happen. But what if another common form of travel decides to malfunction, like an elevator? An elevator with you in it. What would you do if an elevator fails and begins to drop? Is it possible to survive something like this? Well, get off on the fourth floor and watch how to survive a falling elevator right here on How to Survive.